Moving on to the next value is uh, the biodiversity acts as source of genes. Look at these pictures. There are different varieties of genes that um, are present in existing in uh, the um, our own nature on the on, on planet Earth. There's uh, gene resources or animal or nothing but animals, plants, microorganisms, and invertebrates, which are used for food, agriculture, and forestry, are called genetic resources. I repeat. Gene resources are animals, plants, microorganisms, and invertebrates, which are used for food, agriculture, and forestry are called genetic resources. The diversity of animal genetic resources allows livestock to be raised successfully in a diverse range of different environment. Uh, the history of animal genetic resources begins about 12,000 to 14,000 years ago and the different breeds provide a wide range of animal products and services such as milk, meat, eggs, fuel, etc. And et For thousands of years, uh, people have used and developed these uh, plants and animal genetic resources uh, and they have improved food and agricultural production. For instance, if we take uh, uh, or as a set of our own uh, paddy or uh, rice was developed from a wild variety or wild species called Wariza rufipogon. This is the wild species from which the cultivated rice or as a sativa has been domesticated now uh, nowadays you see so many varieties of uh, or as a sativa like uh, um, um, different uh, uh, basmati rice and uh, uh, there are different varieties like uh, um, uh, brown rice and uh, all these varieties or they are this uh, there are these species are developed from the wild species what is a uh, roofy pork on and uh, i'll give you another example alien galanthum is an asian species of onion which is uh, actually a native of mongolia and kazakhstan from which our present day onion like alien sepa is derived even um, Musa uh, paradise, Musa paradise, uh, that is banana that we eat, was uh, it was um, developed from the Musa balbiciana. It's a wild type of species uh, which is native to southern China and uh, South uh, Southeast Asia. And likewise, there are so many examples we can give for uh, source of genes. The next most uh, important value uh, of biodiversity is environmental value. The environmental value of biodiversity can be understood by examining the underlying process of each ecosystem and identifying the services provided by it. Uh, these are the different, uh, um, these environmental value can be studied in two headings that is supporting services and regulating services supporting services like soil formation and protection nutrient cycling primary production and regulating services like water regulation climate regulation disease regulation water purification and pollination these are the regulating services of biodiversity and supporting service these are the supporting services of biodiversity if you uh, um, uh, uh, look at the cost of all these uh, services with, uh, whether it is supporting service or a regulating service all these services are free of cost and according to collective evaluation by economists and the scientists in 1997 the value of all environmental goods and services that is total environmental value of biodiversity amounts to 33 trillion worldwide per year which is you can say larger than the global economy our global economy uh, is 29 trillion uh, dollars 
but the services provided or the value of uh, the biodiversity provided to mankind is 33 trillion dollars. Now we'll see or we'll check these environmental values one after the other. Now we'll first uh, study about the supporting services. The first one is soil formation and protection. Uh, the soil for biological diversity helps in formation and maintenance of soil structure and retention of moisture and nutrition levels. Uh, a spoon uh, of a garden soil contains thousands of microorganisms. Scientists estimate that at least about one quarter of species on planet Earth live in soils. And this diverse ecosystem performs a variety of functions to sustain above the ground. That means whatever the microorganisms that are present below the ground that is present in the soil, they support the life on earth that is above the soil by they process the waste water, uh, um, I'm sorry, the processing of waste organic matter and the improve soil fertility and they regulate carbon flux and they uh, purify water and they help in uh, biological withering that means uh, like plants and uh, mm, these uh, lichens uh, and others they help in biological withering and even in land, uh, land reclamation process many microbes and uh, different types of plants are used in land reclamation and these plants and animals the biodiversity they prevent soil erosion and landsliding and they act as windbreakers in the uh, river um, beaches and uh, the beaches and in the uh, river um, edges and they help as windbreakers and they stop soil erosion and uh, they also uh, soil protection by the main maintenance of biological diversity can preserve the productive capacity of the soil and uh, as i told you they safeguard the coastlines and river banks and prevents the degradation of coral reefs and riverine and coastal fisheries by siltation. Next one, the production of oxygen by land-based plants and marine algae. And another feature is primary production. Uh, we all know without air, there is no life. And oxygen is the most vital element for respiration for all the living beings. Uh, we all know that plants through photosynthesis, it converts the atmospheric uh, carbon dioxide and water into carbohydrates and releases oxygen into the air by using the energy of the sunlight. Uh, it is observed that the steady balance in the amount of uh, Earth's atmospheric oxygen is maintained by approximately 70% of the world's oxygen is released or maintained by the marine algae, marine algae, the algae present in the oceans and 30% by the terrestrial plants, that means the forests. And uh, this importance of the oxygen released by plants uh, if you uh, look at uh, the cost of the oxygen uh, nowadays according to study by ngo uh, delhi greens it is understood that the economic value of a healthy tree with respect to its oxygen producing capacity is roughly 23.27 lakh per year and a human consumes oxygen worth about 13 lakh per day and that is supplied free of cost by a healthy biodiversity look at the value of the um, biodiversity means healthy plants produce 
23.70 lakh per year and uh, after that a human being he requires 13 13 lakhs of or 13 lakhs worth of oxygen per day and coming to the primary production the capturing uh, um, as we have discussed the um, production of uh, carbohydrates through photosynthesis the capturing of energy from the sun by plants and using this to convert carbon dioxide into organic compounds this provides this phenomena of primary production provides food for all other species on the plants so that's why the plant plants are called as producers in an ecosystem as they produce and as they provide food for all other species on the planets and this part of carbon cycle which is being unbalanced by the release of carbon dioxide by the burning fossil fuels <laughs>